Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be discussing Cardano again and could it actually start to rally? Well, guess what? That's what we're going to be speaking about. And if you haven't already, do subscribe, drop a comment and hammer on the like button and hit the bell while you're at it so you can get all the updates on crypto news and crypto statistics. All right, so looking at Cardano. So Cardano as of today is at $2.05 still kind of down it's not looking the greatest but it actually has potential to become very very bullish and i'm surprised because i was expecting it to be a little bit later down the line and that's what we're looking at today so uh it is kind of hanging out in that lower range it's just barely beating that so when we're speaking on this it's just kind of hanging out still kind of moving sideways uh a little bit in that downward angle but as this candle is starting to build up it does show that people are buying into this dip and that's a good sign and so eventually i think it can actually break out over this because it looks like potentially that the that it could be the low is right here uh that low could be here at about a dollar 80 so it could actually be that new support line here uh and it could break away and actually start to rally up uh, and that's what we're seeing, right? So when we're looking here, it's because this candle, when we're looking at the candle, it looks pretty good uh, for the past like two days, right? So the 13th, right, uh, a couple of days ago, it started to get in and a little bit red, but it is the daily, but it looks like people are buying into this and it could potentially start to rise. So uh, given what we know, it by the end of the year, maybe by early spring, January, February, it could actually... Honestly, I'm going to call it about February or March. It could break up at, uh, between five and, and, and eight bucks. Uh, that's, but it's still very hard to tell. We still need to watch, right? So the weekly candle, uh, let's take a look at that, that weekly candle. So you have something to look at. Uh, the weekly candle, it looks much better. All right, so we're looking from the beginning of November, right? Uh, it started to be green again, right? Uh, and here we are in the last week which is uh, the 8th it closed out and the 15th it closed out pretty good considering that uh, lastly it did kind of bottom out to a buck 80 which was very very bad it started it looked like everybody was freaking out but that was expected right so of course people are starting to lose money when we look at the weeks before there was so much red and these really ugly candles that were really kind of freaking everybody out with good cause and so now it is a potential to kind of jump back up so i think now i it would it's a good time to, or I think you can see some pretty good uh, profits coming up in the next, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, if it breaks back over two bucks, a little stronger, you know, about two and a half, it would be a really good thing if you can buy into this uh, dip now. So, and I think that's what people are going to be doing. So we'll be able to see a little bit later on, uh, but it does look like it does have the potential to actually uh, become very very bullish and it is looking bullish now just a little bit but we need a little bit more data so we can see what, between the next week and the next couple of days uh, really what Cardano plans on doing right because we all don't want to uh, be in the employment line uh, waiting because we've lost money and you know well you know fun it's temporary right all right let's take a look <clears throat> So Bitcoin, uh, when we're speaking about Bitcoin, Bitcoin uh, is not doing so hot, which, you know, I called it too, it's still kind of moving sideways. When you look here on, on the daily, it's been moving sideways since the 20th of October, right? So about three weeks ago, and it still just started kind of just bottomed out, right? We had that high, uh, though, on the 8th, like last week, uh, that was the high that we had, but it is kind of having that downward channel now. Uh, and it did get kind of bought into uh, on the daily here a little bit, but not quite enough to really make any kind of news. Now, when we look at the uh, weekly, uh, the weekly is not so great either. Uh, so uh, last week, you know, it was okay. It did good, but it's starting to be red again. So it's just kind of, it's too hard to tell at this moment too for Bitcoin. Only, only time can tell. And it still looks great. We're considering that the last time that we actually had uh, a high, aside from last week, but uh, was back in uh, April, uh, it made that all-time high. Uh, so that was the last time that we actually had that big uh, high, and then uh, prior to last week. So uh, it is, it could potentially go, but then we just had this like huge uh, thing here, this moving sideways. It kind of came up again. And back down and up again um, but I would expect it to still kind of drop down a little bit so Bitcoin is sitting at 64,800 uh, so real, only time can tell just like anything else so we'll just keep an eye out right all right ethereum uh, ethereum is also doing pretty well 
Uh, Ethereum uh, is on the daily at about 4,600. 4, it is in the red. Uh, so uh, it is what we have. Uh, but 4,670, mm, yeah, about 80, 70, uh, 4,726, right? Uh, so it is sitting there. Uh, it is starting to move sideways a little bit, right? So uh, it is, it did kind of take down, but they are buying in this dump as well in this in this fall so it could actually make another run for it as well so ethereum i think will actually benefit too i think people holding ethereum right now is going to benefit a lot more uh, especially considering like cordano as well and what i'm telling about when when we're talking about bitcoin for example let's just compare to bitcoin uh when bitcoin kind of comes in here you see it's even almost the same pattern right the the upward way like so the down it kind of it came down the same all right, it came up the same. Uh, but the thing is, is people will uh, sell out if Bitcoin does decide to kind of start falling so, so much. Ethereum, I think, will benefit and overtake Bitcoin uh, when that happens. Uh, so it's a little bit the, kind of the same, uh, as you can tell. But when Ethereum has high potential to pass Bitcoin on the market, uh, depending on how Bitcoin tends to respond. So that's what we're going to wait for. Uh, so we're going to wait for this little dip as well. Now, this is for the daily. Um, when we're looking at the weekly as well, uh, the weekly is still, of course, much better uh, when we look here. Up. Uh, so let's look at the daily uh, so or the weekly. Uh, so the weekly is it closed out pretty good, too. Uh, so it is setting a high as well. So it is still at an all-time high. Uh, so it's still doing pretty great, uh, and it's still rallying up. Uh, so it's another big thing uh, that we can expect. Uh, so uh, depending on, you know, like the last week uh, on the 8th, last week it didn't do so hot. It just kind of like stagnated there a little bit. But this week it did much better. And I think it will continue as well, depending on Bitcoin and the other coins as well. So Ethereum is, is holding pretty, pretty strong. Uh, as far as Solano goes, uh, Solano uh, started to move sideways as well just a little bit, right? Uh, so Solano, meet, Solano meet, met the uh, all-time high November 6th, and so it kind of closed out at about uh, 257 bucks, right? Uh, but today it's sitting at about 200, uh, 241, so it's kind of moving too. It's still starting to kind of rally up as well, but it is moving uh, slowly uh, on a very uh, sideways action form, right? So uh, we can only see from there uh, as well, so I think it could actually break out again. Uh, pretty soon uh, so hold your horses right uh, so uh, the Solana uh, this is for the weekly uh, of course it wasn't is starting to buy into the dip as well from considering from last week right uh, and this is what I believe that is going to happen as well is what's going to kind of push that rally so it's still looking pretty bullish uh, in my in my eyes XRP is starting to pick up the pace too when we're looking at XRP is starting to kind of move sideways But they are buying in the dip as well, especially considering the past couple of days It's just kind of like honestly just died and everybody is getting kind of bored You know, especially the newcomers to the crypto metaverse and they are kind of just coming in and they're getting pretty bored like oh my god You know, they're freaking out. So uh, they do have this as well uh, So when they have this uh, this kind of situation, you know, they're not going to respond to it quite as well. And considering that XRP is a uh, very kind of risky at this point, but it is still turning out pretty well. Uh, so it's still moving in, it's buying the dip, also looking pretty bullish. So the market is kind of picking up, especially in the last couple of days, in the last week, it started to cool off a little bit. Uh, so it's nothing to really panic over too, too much. Uh, looking at the weekly, of course, they're buying into it as well. You can see it's like, it, honestly, it shows that it's still looking pretty bullish uh, and it's kind of catching up as well. And th that sideways action that we're talking about, I mean, it's because it's, it's dropping, it's coming up, right? So it's, it's a little bit slower. It doesn't, it's not jumping back as well as it <laughs> kind of came back down. But you can see, I mean, it's kind of coming up again and coming down and coming back up. Uh, so I would expect it to rally up and, and kind of uh, flip the script a little bit. Uh, Litecoin too is doing has been doing pretty great. Uh, it's made the news. It started to rally up very good. Uh, and for the daily, uh, of course, it kind of had that pump too. Of course, that all time high, uh, not the all time high. I'm sorry, uh, but it started kind of picking up here too in November, like yesterday. Uh, and today, sitting at it is kind of moving. Uh, it is kind of like dropping a little bit. So it's sitting at two uh, two hundred and seventy one bucks. 
uh, as we speak now. So it it could kind of continue to move up. I think I would expect it for it to continue to rally just a little bit, if not just a little sideways action. Uh, so it's still looking pretty good as well. Uh, also, so the rest of the market. So Bitcoin is sitting at the 24 hour period at a buck or I'm sorry, 1.39 percent. And the weekly is at 0.36 in the red. Ethereum for the daily, uh, 1.24 uh, percent, and the weekly is at 0.990, right? So just barely one percent. Uh, Binance also is uh, 24 hour period, 0.94 percent, and the seven day uh, plus 1.05 percent as well. Solana is also doing uh, a little bit better uh, for the 24 hour period at 2.01 percent for the daily, and in the red, we have 1.15 percent as well. Now, Cardano, this is also what's showing us the um the potential for it to actually kind of start to rally back up finally it can start making that movement right so uh for the daily we have 080 percent and for the weekly we have 0.16 percent and xrp for the daily in the in the green is a plus 2.05 percent and the weekly is in the red by 5.16 percent as well so it's, it's kind of like recovering from that as well uh, so we'll see uh polka dot uh is also at 0.23 percent for the daily and a really ugly 11.61% in the red. Uh, Shiba, too, is actually taking a hit considering that big pump it had not too long ago. And this is Litecoin. So for the 7.32% in the green uh, for the 24-hour period and a whopping 31.45% in the green for the weekly. So Litecoin's really kind of showing it out right now, right? So it's doing pretty good. All right, family. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. And thank you for watching.